those of you who have been watching our videos regularly, you may remember that earlier this year, we did a video about the fabulous range of dragon incense burners that had been launched, which I designed and my partner here, John Woodward, sculpted. I was very pleased to get to work with John because he is the most awesome sculptor of dragons. And John has just been working on three more, which is going to add to this range. So uh, today, we'd like to show you John's wax sculpts, which are absolutely beautiful. And he'll tell you a little bit about how he created these. First, with any, obviously with any sculpture, you've got to start with the design. And Anne quickly mocked some uh, designs up and she kind of left me then to sort of add in the fine details. Now, how I start these is, is from that. I make up a mixture of my own wax and then you manipulate it into the dragons. Each one uh, takes, I would say, approximately about two weeks to do. Uh, I really like the, the, the challenge of, of these because they are going to serve a, a functional purpose, which is an incense burner. So this little chap is sitting on his cauldron and the smoke will be bubbling out from the center. The fun thing to do doing this one was the cauldron and I um, didn't know how I was going to make this, this perfect little round cauldron. So I went back to my pottery days and I put the soft wax onto a whirler and I was able to centre it and then almost turn it as if I was turning a piece of wood which gave me the shape for the cauldron. The pumpkin one was fun because of course getting the texture of the uh, great Halloween icon there as a pumpkin and the smoke's going to billow out from the, the eyes and the nose. He's going to look really nice when he's finished. And now this one which is based on Anne's water dragon, he's sitting on a little pirate chest. So imagine this is at the bottom of the sea Little coins and things will be picked out with, with paint and the smoke will emanate from, from there. I was thinking, how am I going to get the little coins? How can I get the little coins? And then I remembered that I have some uh, flathead nails and it was a case of, of taking off each little nail head. Hence, they became the little coins. So I find it absolutely fascinating how these are made from a lump of wax. They just emerge into these wonderful, detailed, amazing creations that John does. And uh, I'm, I'm certainly really, really looking forward to them going into production. And I'm sure we'll be making another video later in the year when, when they're all ready and finished and painted. And uh, we can tell you more about them then.